What's going on? This is Eric Zapata, body transformation specialist for men over the age of 30. And today I wanna to talk about the five biggest fat loss and muscle building mistakes that I used to make when I first got going. The purpose of this video is to save you a lot of time and frustration so that you can see progress and results a lot faster than I did. Mistake number one where I was stuck for so long was I never knew my calories and my macros when it comes to being in a calorie deficit. If you wanna lose fat, you have to be in a calorie deficit. You need to be eating less than you burn off every single day. And what I used to do back in the day was as long as I work out and I try to eat healthy and I meal prep or I try to eat organic or make turkey chili instead of chili with beef, I thought that I would just lose body fat, but it doesn't work that way. It doesn't matter if I'm eating the beef chili or the turkey chili, because if I'm overeating on calories and I'm not having a good macronutrient split as far as protein, carbs, and fats, I was not gonna go anywhere fast, and that's exactly what happened. So piggybacking off what I was just saying is, I thought just because it was healthy, I could eat whatever I wanted. Like, ooh, almonds, I could have as much as I want. Ooh, fruit, I could have as much as I want, because they're healthy choices. Oh, protein bars, these are good for you, right? Or if I go to Chipotle, um, no, I'll hold a tortilla, I'll have extra rice, or I have a little extra steak, like that's still extra calories. So I need to be in that calorie deficit for things that happen. Calories aren't just imaginary. Mistake number two is overeating and drinking too much alcohol on the weekends. So like I said, I'll be a good little boy. I'll try to eat healthy Monday through Friday. I'd hit the gym, but once it came to Friday night through Sunday night, it'd be a no holes bar. I would drink whatever I wanted. I end up getting drunk. That led to making poor choices with my eating. I eat nothing but greasy foods, be eating at three in the morning, waking up like, ah, forget it, might as well go have brunch or eat out all day Saturday and Sunday and throw out all the progress that I had Monday through Friday and then ruin it on Saturday and Sunday and then start it all back over. Overall, try to limit your alcohol on the weekends and have some self-control. Mistake number three is crash dieting. Back in the day, I just wanted results fast. I would cut my calories super low, but then on top of that, I cut my carbs super low and then I also do as much cardio as possible. You don't wanna do that because what's gonna happen is sure you'll have some immediate results, but you're gonna hit your first plateau and then from there, it's like, where can you go if your calories and your carbs are super low? you have to drop them even lower and then also you have to do more cardio to get your body deeper in a calorie deficit that never works out it starts to become a miserable process where you end up bouncing back gaining the weight back plus some mistake number four this is a workout one I was doing way too much cardio I would come to the gym I hit the weights like I should be but then I go over to the Stairmaster and do anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes now it's cool to do cardio if you just like cardio or if you have to prep for like a show or a photo shoot but if you want a more sustainable approach you definitely shouldn't do as much cardio like right now I'm on my way back to 8 to 10 percent body fat and I'm literally doing no cardio except for like maybe three times a week I take my baby for like a 20 minute walk I save as much energy as possible so that I can come to the gym and give my all to weight training because remember the more muscle we build the more fat and calories that we're ultimately gonna burn as long as our nutrition's set up properly mistake number five is I wasn't recovering good enough I was that dude where I'll go to the gym I'll hit the weight six days a week I'll do the cardio and I also thought because I was in the gym longer two to three hours a day that it meant that I was gonna get that much more progress what I'm realizing especially as we age we have to prioritize our rest and recovery but also less is more so I make sure I come in here and it's not how long I'm here in the gym or how much I do but it's more so how effective and how hard I'm hitting the workouts in the time that I'm here I try to keep my workouts an hour or less but make sure they absolutely count all right and that's all I have for you today I hope this video brought you a tremendous amount of value and if you're a man who's looking to build muscle and lose anywhere from 20 to 40 pounds in just 90 days I want you to go ahead and find me on social media like Facebook or Instagram and shoot me a direct message with the word pop Hour, I'll know exactly what you're reaching out for and let's have a conversation on what your goals are where you're currently at where you want to go and how I can come in and help you do just that I'll see you in the next video